Well, today we came in to read Exceptionally Good Friends by M Melissa Burkhart, and it's really an amazing book that gives a split view of kids with neurodiversity going through their first day of school and then kids who aren't as neurodiverse seeing it from an outside perspective. And I think reading it to the classroom of students, they're able to go, okay, well, you know, that's how I can make friends, that's how I can communicate, and then also, I'm not alone in the world. I'm not the only person who has really sensitive senses or someone who struggles to pay attention in class or needs pictures to communicate. I'm not by myself, and I think that's really empowering and inspiring to the kids. <laughs> friends are important because they're the number one priority in school. Because if you don't have friends, you have no one to speak to, basically. important to teach kids when they're younger so when they get older, they know it's okay to be different. Along with the Creating Compassionate Children curriculum, we have a sensory kit that helps teachers learn more about how some people, a lot of people with neurodiversity and a lot of typical people have differences in how they process sensory information. So the kit helps the teacher understand that and then has some materials that they can provide to the children in their classroom to help them feel calmer and to focus and have less behavior issues. And I've always been interested in working with autism and neurodiversity related charities. However, many of the organizations that I worked with or that I researched, they treated neurodiversity as a disease or a condition, when in reality the Unicorn Children's Foundation encourages those differences and they just say it's a different way of viewing the world. When you do make a contribution to Unicorn Children's Foundation, you're making a contribution to the quality of life of everyone because when we go into a community and support everyone, the whole community benefits. 